Senator Dow, Representative Tipping, and members of the Joint Committee, thank you very much for holding this hearing. Uh, I'd like to ask you to ask yourselves three questions as you consider this bill. The first being, has this tax credit, the existing one ongoing now, over the past 20 years performed successfully? I know you're doing a lot of looking forward, and that's what is in Representative DeChant's amendment of performance evaluation, but I would suggest that you could do that looking back as well with this logic chain and other ways that performance can be measured. Because I think the committee needs a thorough evaluation, a thorough analysis of how this bill has done for the last 20 years before you move forward with another one. And then let's say that this analysis is done and it concludes that the tax credit was successful. The other question then I would ask that you ask yourselves is why another tax credit? Well, we hear from General Dynamics, BIW, that it's to be competitive. But that's what the former tax credit was for, for to make them more competitive. So this needs to be sorted out. Um, General Dynamics BIW claims uh, I don't think should be taken at face value. I think that this would need to be independently verified. This proof of competitiveness or lack of competitiveness, proof of need of the tax credit needs to be determined before you vote on this bill. Um, I understand that in some communities in Maine they use uh, a method where they select a certain group of people who can maintain confidentiality, look at the books, and be able to determine whether or not um, a proof of need is there. So I would suggest that that be the route taken. Uh, let's say that this independent verification shows that BIW actually needs the $60 million to be competitive. Then the next question is, can it secure that $60 million elsewhere? Well, this question has been asked numerous times during this hearing and um, maybe not answered, um, but just to throw out some facts, on the reverse of my testimony, there are a couple charts there. Figure one shows that the state of Maine's budget is about one quarter of that of General Dynamics, which is BIW's parent company. And the other fact is that this entire $60 million 20-year tax credit is equal to less than one half of 1% of general dynamic stock buybacks since the year 2005. My last comment is to register my displeasure at what I'm seeing here, and that is a rich company taking advantage of a poor state that's struggling to meet its needs for lack of funds. And I also observe elected officials and workers and Bath residents like myself fearful that high paying jobs could evaporate should General Dynamics uh, leave and if Maine doesn't cough up more money for them. I wish that I were a legislator because what I would ask is if we are so fearful, why are we not planning for the alternative that General Dynamics decides to sell BIW? I would think that everyone would be interested in this, number one being General Dynamics because it would speed up the sale of the facility should they ever decide to sell. Thank you. Representative Pouliot. Thank you, um, Mrs. Sorry, I don't it's see on the back. Here. Oh, it's on the back. <laughs> Thank you for your testimony. I'm, let me ask you, pose you a hypothetical question. Let's say you were a legislator for a day, and G. Bath Ironworks came to you. Um, you're a representative for Bath, like <coughs> Representative DeChant, and says we need to do this. What what kind of conversation would you have with them, and what what would you what would you say? To be honest, I'd probably do the exact same thing that Representative DeChan is doing because she's representing those 477 jobs. And I imagine that you all would probably do the same. And so I, I can understand that fear and I can understand that place of you know, wanting to do the right thing for your constituents. Um, but at the same time, you need to ask yourself these other questions too. Can they get it from elsewhere? Are we doing due diligence in being accountable for the last hundred million or more dollars that was already spent? Are they being made more competitive by giving this, giving this money or is it just being wasted? All of these questions have no answers right now. Any other questions from the committee? <coughs> Seeing none, we thank you for your testimony. Lori Fleming. And then we have Walter Real, Leslie.